Blues, Markham, Blues have to win. A tie will not be enough. But if we win, you get to wake up at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow for bonus Blues hockey. Godfather 3, not the best movie I've ever watched. But just when I thought we were out, they pulled us back in. The content may not be appropriate for all ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we're saying, right? Warning, content may not be appropriate for Warning. all ages. Warning. What else can you do? Well, I mean... So, we see these penalty boxes. Do you think that's going to make a big dif difference? Like, they're not centered. Oh, they're not centered at all. No. And I don't see why they put a hole in the top of the score box. Like, how are the refs going to... Are they just going to shout up to the scorekeeper? Yeah, that's a good question. There's a lot going on here. Got a little bit of a market street vibe here, though, too, right? Like, yeah. great rank. And again, per usual, there's no post in the back of the net. This is crazy. It is. It really is. So you're going to call them Markham or you're going to call them the Waxers? They're called the Waxers. Okay. The Dundas Blues versus the Waxers. 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 Not sure who won that draw, but the Waxers put it deep down into his zone and the Blues will go to chase. Sam picks up the puck, goes behind the net, gets taken off by the Waxers. And the Waxers have the puck in the corner. The Waxers put it in the corner. Sam shooting along the wall to Otis. Otis with the puck coming around off the boards. Otis hits Mason. Mason just can't get a stick on it. It's back into the zone. Offside for the Waxers. Well, it's, I gotta say, Tom, I missed the first game, but that shockingly was the best first shift we've had since I showed up. Yeah, we gotta do a round of applause. Like, best first shift best we've had. Best first shift. Uh oh, second shift. Now, we better not jinx it, because no. there's still 25 seconds left in the first minute of play. Good point. You know what? And these guys are, the waxers look like they're skating hard. Yeah. Andrew has it in the corner. Andrew hit it along the walls of Henry. Henry gets out of the zone. The Waxers go on D to D in the neutral zone. Riley pressuring. The Waxers try to get it up and it's the right skate. Riley battling for it, but the Waxers get it through into our zone. The Waxers coming down two on, uh, two on one and then we take a tripping, but the refs don't see it. Good for that. The Waxers trying to press the front, doesn't get through. To the point, man, a shot. It's Cammy. And Co Connor picks it up in the corner. Connor signaling around the corner. Connor passing up to Ryan. Ryan just can't get a stick on it. Bounced over a stick and it goes Ooh, to the Waxers. that was too many. Ah, this is too many logs. This is too I agree. But the Waxers have it. Deacon dangling through. The Waxers coming in. And I missed it. Oh, we got a penalty? The what? Hooky. That's a tough one, Tom. They had a guy come out of the bench, touch the puck, while the other guy was still on the ice. That's too many men on the ice. That's, by the letter of the law, too many men on the ice. Yeah. Anyhow, so we'll get to see if this penalty box help us, helps us or hurts us. Maybe it'd be good for what some teams do, where they come out and get a pit by a pass right away. But who knows? So we got Ryan, Colin, James, and Gil on this penalty kill. The Waxers win it's up to the point man. Ryan pressure the point man as we go to D to D. James pressing the point man is trying to down into the court. Well, he's trying to bring it up, but two Waxers are on him. Waxers coming out with the puck. Ryan the net. Yo can't get there in time. The Waxers have it in the corner. Gil pressing in the corner. The Waxers fall. Gil gets it to Colin. Colin's gonna pick it up and go for a skate with it. Colin gets it up to James. James is just gonna dip in doodles and just stall the clock. Gotta love watching James on the PK, eh? It's a yeah. thing of beauty. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sonic! What a shift! Everything about that was awesome, eh, Tommy? Good yeah. muscle. Way to start the clock on the PK. And then turn, cause the cause the a penalty. Really yeah. fantastic. Okay, and battling for up with those two lessers on him, and they can't get up. Oh, it stops them from playing the zone out and coming back down the other way, pressing up the boards. The lessers coming up the boards. Look at Otis, one on four. Otis is doing pretty good, although he did elbow that guy over there. But the rest didn't call it, so it never happened. Lux is coming out in the yellow way. Kill there. Yep. And he keeps it in the zone. And right, then I just. That's gotta be an ice. ice. That's an ice. You know what, Tom? I gotta say, lots of things going on. One thing we gotta make sure we recognize our main man, Kane Sugar Reed. He's back out there on the ice. He was down on the ice. We were worried he was hurt. But we got him out there right now playing pivotal meaning minutes in an important game. Glad to see that, glad Kaner's okay. Yeah. Mickey wins it back to Gil, Gil shot. Riley trying to jam it in, oh! oh. And the goalie just lost the stick, but isn't even trying to get it. Gil trying to get out of his arm, and the Wax is keeping it in, and the corner goes. The Wax is winning, and the corner shot, good yeah. point to Sam, look at the stick, and the Wax is having the point. Wax is shot, and they're on the other side, and they're the oh. end. Holy moly, Tom, what a, this looks like the Blues again. Yeah. Where have these guys been? I don't know. I don't know either. I need more beer if we're going to watch another uh, 35 minutes of this. Uh, I'm good. You're good? All right, well. Oh, am I? Oh. Get camp! Hey, boy, camp them. What a good play, right? Jim, let's stop them. Go, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy going down, tries to get the puck to the bottom of the wax is taking off. The wax is coming down the other way, number 91 was not real. And he's going to go into the corner, trying to get a shot. Missing the net, or should I say, he gets behind the net. And the wax is down deep into the corner. Colin's going to pick it up. Colin doesn't have a lot of room, but he can make it work. But he runs it around to Jimmy. Jimmy can't get it clear. And the wax is having it again. Colin shifts up to the cannons. Kames getting on a hurting leg, but he still puts it into down deep into the corner. Blues will get a change. Oh, it's coming out to pressure. Oh, Alex just passed across in front of their own net and now passing up in the neutral zone. Brando doesn't let it enter that too far into our goal and he shoots it out. Oh, it's pressure. I mean, Sam shoots it up the boards. Brando gets it out of the zone and there's three minutes and 40 seconds left in the period. Brown right gets pushed off the clock and get there. The wax is coming back the other way. Two on two. The wax is coming down the other way. They got caught Sam. They shoot it there. And the corner goes. Not 
like it was gonna go in. Ah, it's out of the zone. Oh, this will go pressure, but I got the puck for too long. Get it back up, and they're coming down. Yes, yeah, they are too. Damn, Stockton's getting it. That's passing back out into the neutral zone. They're going D to D, Riley pressurely. Oh, it sends it down deep into the zone. The ref doesn't seem to have caught the ice there. Oh, they called it. They didn't blow it. I didn't hear a whistle, did you? Me neither. No. If his hand wasn't in the air. I think it was the right call, but didn't hear it. End in action here, eh, Tommy? Yep. Corey passing it up to Henry. Henry with the puck. Stand out. Henry and Riley. Henry takes a backhand, tries to get the rebound, and no one's there. Tom, was that a shot? Yeah. Yeah. Henry misses the net. Uh, sorry, fans, there seems to be an uh, angry individual uh, in the background. We're going to try and mute him out in post production. Tips it in their own net. Deep. We've got all our guys out there for a while. Colin taking it in the zone. Colin coming up. Colin pass up front. Oh. Oh. And, uh, and Ryan has it pressed up front. No one's there. And Alex is picking up the puck with 35 seconds left in this period. Alex is coming up fast. Ryan passes to Ryan. Ryan coming up with 25 seconds left in the second period. Ryan shoots. Oh, and oh here we go. Tom, I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time right now. This is some good hockey action. Yeah. <laughs> 24 seconds to go in the first. The Blues. First period. That was fantastic. Coach Peter's going to give the team a riling speech. We got our shots at net at 5-3 uh, them. But just unbelievable end end action. Both teams skating. It's been fantastic. And folks, we may have had some conversations today thinking that the season was over. So Coach Peter's eloquently thanked everybody in the Dundas Blues universe except for his coaching staff. So right now we're going to start. We have a lot of people we need to thank this year, but we're going to start with his coaching staff. Uh, Coach Robillard, Coach Hawkins, Coach, Coach Brown, 
Coach Peters. Coach Peters. Rob Harrison, great coach. All the goalie coaches that came out. Everybody that helped our kids become not only better hockey players, but better men. Uh, I think, or however they identify. Uh, really important and uh, really, really a fantastic season that I think we're all super proud of. Could have been a hook there, still a hook. Back to you, Tom. Corner, crossing up the boards, the Adder, the Adder, trying to go to the zone, it doesn't make it out. Going to the corner, corner, tries to hit right, just a bit off of the pass, and it's going down. The Waxers have it, and trying to go, and the pass is behind their net, and Henry's going to pressure. Henry in the corner, two Waxers on him. Henry's still battling for it. Mickey goes in and comes out with it. Mickey going around, he shoots just wide. Andrew keeps it in. Riley goes, he shoots, and it's a stay. Guys, I'm just saying it's quietly so long. Does it hear? But I think I was going to miss the net, but he counted on the shot, so. I know, I don't. I mean, like, Rob. Rob like you, hey, hey, Henry, do you, uh, or, uh, pardon me, Tommy, do you know what uh, Rob's middle name is? What? Rob's middle name is Stat Patter. Rob yeah. Stat Patter uh, Harrison. Harrison. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, facts. Fun facts about our coaching team. <laughs> with the puck in our zone. Colin looks like he's gonna go wide up and Colin's going for a skate. Colin takes on the inside this time he shoots on it. It doesn't make it through the goalie. And the wash is picked up the other way. Now folks, I'm sorry if you can't really hear us. These Waxer fans are going crazy. Jimmy coming up the other way. Jimmy passes over to Roblard. Roblard sticks again, held in the air so he can't get a shovel and he tries to get the pass on over there. James, that's the point. James passes up the wall to Gil. Gil, he shoots and he gets The Wax is coming back up the other way. Wax is where the demon is going and we'll get a change. And he picks it up behind the net, chips it up to the boards. Brando's there. Brando trying to get it up to Otis and it doesn't make it there. Otis fighting for it, he still doesn't get it. I think they've, it could be wrong, but I think they scored the second goal of every game. I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Colin coming back up the other way. Colin getting it over to Riley. Riley giving it in the zone. He gets triple team and then gets back to Gil. Gil shot. Tim defense for him. Doesn't make it on that. He comes out. Comes out to Sam. Oh, what a play by Sammy. Definitely should be using a Fox 40 whistle where it, uh, it's a P-less whistle. Doesn't get stuck on the ice. All right, I heard that one. You hear that? Yeah. Yep. Waxers win the draw back into the corner. James right away pressuring. Ryan helping him out. And it comes up the wall. Waxers right now with a game, team in the running. And it's a two on one for the Waxers. Waxers coming down two on one. They shoot. Oh. I 
That was a snipe right there. I really, really think you jinxed that. I might have jinxed it. Still a lot of hockey left, Tom. Yeah. What I really want to see is the boys keep battling because uh, they've been playing great hockey so far. And I think I, if they keep doing it, this is going to be a close game. If they stop skating, then we might be in trouble. Come on, come back up. They're just trying to hurt Colin McCollins. Coming out. Two on one. Colin shoots it. They're taking a penalty. Oh, give them another two. Give them another two. Four, they give them, oh, they give him four. Good. Yeah. Due to a waxer player tripping Ryan Roblard and then smashing his stick against the board yeah, I think three times. Pretty crazy that the ref gave him that many opportunities and he still decided that he had to smack the belly. You know what? I'm, I'm just really intrigued to see. They, they just. This has been a very different hockey team today than what we had seen for the rest of the tournament. I like again. I know we're down two nothing right now, but I feel like if the boys keep playing how they are playing today, we're going to be very, very intrigued in the last few minutes of this game because we're playing awesome hockey even though we're down two nothing. Just wide, eh, Tommy? Yeah. Two minutes left in the Blues power play. 
Yeah, that one out of play. You know, Tom, I'm going to take this break. There's a lot of thankless jobs in the youth hockey universe, and, but I think probably number one is team manager, and I want to make sure that uh, Kristen Gillis, who's done an amazing job for this team this year yeah. in so many facets that I can't even begin to mention it, uh, she's just been unbelievable, making this an uh, easy experience for the rest of us. I want to make sure we recognize all the hard work and effort she's put in to making this a fantastic blue season. plus save by their goalie. Hey, how many shots have there been this period? For us? Yeah. Eleven, so eight. Eight? Yeah. You sure not nine? <laughs> sure eight? Yeah, I think so. You sure right. not seven? No, it's eight. eight. Not seven, no. not nine, not ten. Eight. Eight. It's eight. It's eight. Okay. Just make it sure. Just make it sure. I I didn't put him up to that. Is there still eight? Is there still eight or is there nine now? I'm no longer talking. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! But we said earlier in the video he was already an upset fan, so. Yeah, but we've, got the, we've identified the upset fan. <laughs> uh oh, it's coming a little closer to us. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tom, if he starts snoring like he does in the bedroom, then we're in deep trouble for the second half of this game. <laughs> Great escape. Like I said, Tom, the boys just got to keep pressuring. The puck's going to hit the back of the net. Wait a minute. Does that make it nine or do they jam it in for ten? <laughs> Is it nine or ten? I don't, think he's, I don't think, I think he's mad at you. Yeah, well, too bad, so sad. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Jam it, but did they jam it in time? Uh oh. I think he's alright. I think he took a. Yeah, just just something probably went undone or something. I think I think he just wants to get some FaceTime on the camera. He's got to wear that goalie mask all the time. He's got oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got the traditional Danette good looks. Yeah, can like, we zoom in on that? That's a very good, very good, very handsome family right there, and we just want to make sure that get a little screen time. Got to wear this mask all day long. Gotta get the looks from his father and not his mother. Oh! By the way, Kara, my phone's dead, so call Rob if you need anything, because I can't, I won't be answering it. Wait, wait, he's not talking to us, so that might not be doing that much use. No call there, as they took Henry into the boards. I think Henry said sorry. Well, they might be giving him a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct for saying sorry. No, I think this is uh, this guy's just hurt. I think they're just doing a double check. Take a, take a little spill of the ice. Want to make sure he's okay. All right. So we're gonna score some goals. 
So I will say, listen, right now, for everybody here, uh, I hope if you're at home, please give a round of applause for Joe Waschuk, who's been doing unbelievable work all year, making it this and taking an unbelievable parenting experience and taking it to a whole new level by allowing us to do ridiculous things that will inevitably go on my resume at some point, but uh, also just making it a great experience for all the parents and ultimately all the boys when they they can go back and look at their top 20 rep season where they had a great time with their buddies whether that's in a year or in uh 40 years and so thank you joe for so much said Tom I'm not worried right now I think we keep playing like we're playing it's going to be two to two with three minutes to go in the game that's how well the Blues are playing this is the Blues that we've all enjoyed watching all season long might have to be three nothing if they score here but uh or three three but you know what the boys are playing great they just got to keep hustling we're going to be good here Probably, Tom. Um, maybe it's uh, that guy's so big that it doesn't matter what they do to him. But yeah, I thought that was Henley. Toe save. Henry hurt. Well dead, fellas. Not sure what happened to Henry there. Am I taking a stick to the belly? So Tom, just in case this is the last Blues game of the year, we want to make sure we're thanking all the important people who have made this uh, fantastic and enjoyable season uh, so memorable for so many of us. And I think a great place to start, or to continue on is, is the coach's wife. So Becca, thank you so much for listening to so many conversations at the dinner table, in the car rides, over a drink, on family vacations, lying in bed together, possibly while be trying to be intimate. Just thank you for listening to the, the journey that is youth hockey and your husband's unbelievable commitment, not just for this year, but for the last seven years of, of giving our kids a uh, fantastic experience. And, uh, as someone who's done all of the above with my beautiful wife Caroline on the baseball around baseball teams, because we are in fact in baseball season, uh, thank you very much, Becca and Tommy. We're back to live action, and back to you, buddy. Behind the net.
that rooms that are on the board is Kane. Kane trying to get out of the gun, just can't get out there. The puck is too close to the board. Now the wax is coming down, but Mickey takes it off of them. Mickey comes back down. Mickey's in a... It looks like the waxers missed the hit on Mickey, but now they're passing it up above, up on the boards. Wax is coming back down the other way. I think so. I think they just got a talking penalty. I don't know what the issue no, was. They flashed my, oh, they splashed my brother. No, head contact. They called it head contact. Okay. As you may right. be able to hear, the Waxer's parents are booing like, oh my, Cam! Oh. Cam! He got it. He got it. Don't worry about it. Watch this. He's going to get a goal this year. Worried. Here we go, no, here we go. Look at he passed it to Colin. Colin, coming down. Colin, coming in. Assist. Goalie oh. assist! Oh, we were so close to the goalie assist. Now, FYI, we don't want to upset Rob anymore, or as you call him, Bob. Bobby, Bobby. Not, not Bobby's husband or Bobby, but Bob or Bobby. It's very, yeah, yeah. It's tough to keep track of them all, right, Tom? Yeah. So, he counted that one as a shot, but I think that was going to go wide. Oh, listen. Oh. Another nice save. Wait a minute, I thought you said your phone was out of batteries. It is out of batteries. Look at this. We're, we're all dark. We're, we're dark here. Like, why did I just see you turn it on? Well, that's that's what addiction looks like. We're addicted to our cell phones. We all have to work on that, Tom. One day soon, your parents will give you one, and you will quickly become addicted. Talking about addiction, oh. we oh. found you in a very suspicious crime scene. We're taking a call here, too. We found you sitting outside with a pizza, pizza box behind you. Yeah. With a box of cigarettes. Well, listen, all I've seen is photographic evidence that you were also part of that situation. I understand I wasn't. I just, I, I, I was not there for the beer part. I wasn't uh, there for the beer How do we know? How do we know? Oh, so you were there for the cigarettes. Because I saw the empty box behind you and the cigarettes on the ground. Okay, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. Here comes James on the PK. Oh! oh. It's, a, it's even strength, by the way. I'll tell you. Fifteen seconds left in the first. Second, we're in the second. Oh my God, we're falling apart, Tom. Got to shoot the puck. Shoot the puck. Shoot the puck. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Hey, you didn't shoot it. All right, we gave up two goals in that period. We're gonna have to score three goals in the third period. But hey. This time, this, this game is the embodiment of our weekend. We thought we were done, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> miracles happen. So many miracles happening right now. Bobby married Matt. We don't know how that happened. Huge miracle. Blues are going to put some pucks in the back of the net. Three of them. Maybe four if we have to. Huge miracle. What were the shots for this period? 17 10. 14-5. Oh, 17-10 total. 14-5. Okay, you sure not 15-5? Not 15 or 13-5? Are we up or down? I don't know. We've taken 17 or we've taken 10?
All right, Tom, 15 minutes. That may live in infamy. It, possibly the last hockey game the Dundas Blues rep program ever plays, unless we get our shit together, right, buddy? Uh, no, I don't think so. The U9s are also playing. Oh, are they? Yeah. And then I suppose we'll have to watch behind them because I think that guy's going to come out and go up for the pass. Yeah, I got 13 seconds left in their penalty. I pass it back to the court, man, and the Blues are on a penalty kill. Into the corner goes down and checks it into the corner. Oh, what a goal. That was, that was a beauty. I don't know, Tom. We just cannot put the puck in the back of the net right now. Yeah, I think he took a stinger there. No, it's definitely on them. Us for the trip. Yeah, they call him a penalty shot here. No, it no, wasn't I don't. I don't. Right. I didn't think it was a penalty shot, but I think it's probably Gilly going to the box for a trip. It was worse than Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Now the other team's so parents are swearing. Dun, dun, dun. Their parents are very intense. They're up three nothing. They're very intense. I'm telling you, Tom, we just gotta keep believing. I, I'm not ready to give up yet. They score here, I might give up. But until that happens. I never give up. Okay, you're never giving up. I remember last game when we were down by two with 0.09 seconds left. And I said all we had to do was score one goal after 0.03 yeah. seconds. I never give up. You never give up. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Here we go, Tony. We're not done yet. Nikki Walshuk. Woo! Short and a goal. Let's go. Three one, baby. I still believe, Tom. We don't give up, right, buddy? Yeah. Hey, you said you did give up. No, no, I am, I'm not ready to give up yet. Yeah, you didn't say yet. You just said you did give up. Well, hey, who knows? Yeah, 
All right, we thank the assistant coaches. We thank the coach's wife. We thank the broadcast team. Uh, we probably should thank Rob Harrison for doing a little bit of everything on this team, keeping mediocre stats, well, we should coaching. Thank Mr. Reed for helping with the bench and helping the runs. Yep, that's right, yep. Who else do we gotta thank as we count down the seconds here? The parents. The parents. And spending a lot of money. Yeah, spending a lot of money for all the kids. Letting the kids come out and play. You want the kids to spend a lot of money. Money on gas, money. So we, we got to thank the parents. We got to thank the line of credits too. Because without a line of credit, none of this would be possible, folks. 3-1. 12 minutes to go. We're going to bury a few more here, Tommy. Remember we said, three minutes left, we're gonna be tied and we're gonna score the game winner to move on tomorrow. That's what we're predicting. Could have been two there, Tom. Call them both! Call them both! All right, 10 minutes, 11 seconds left to go in the game. The Blues need three more goals. They yell every time one of their guys falls down. Whether it might just be because they can't skate. Only the camera were watching the bench. The coach is jumping up and down. Just 
Go for, go for a skate. Go for a skate. We need one here, Colin. There you go. All on your own, big guy. That guy was out early. That should be another penalty, Tom. Should be. I don't think they're going to call it, but... I wasn't really paying attention to him, but... <laughs> like, uh, I, I, would, I would say that, I'd say if I were a ref, we would have won. But we are going to win, even if I'm not a ref. Oh, that's a tough break. We take a high stick there. So we're going to draw in our zone. All right, we're down two. We got to score three. We got seven and a half minutes to go with at 7.30 at night. Let's make it happen. Blues just need to get one and then they get a rally going. There we go, Henry's gonna make it happen. I feel like Henry's ready, he's just been raring to go. No call there. Offside? Yep, offside. They just said something about the blues. I ain't quite here, but they just said something like you suck blues. Well, takes one and no one, that's what I say. Yeah, they're probably just trash choking because they know that we're better than them. Still lots of hockey to play, buddy. Here we go, Kaner. He's just jealous of Kaner's hair, I think. Uh, just wanted to get some pans on it? Yeah. Ooh, good hair, Kane. <laughs> That's some sweet flow. Can't argue with that. There we go. It's a waxers. Oh. Miss. I think that was in it if it was on the net. Six oh four to go, Tom. We got we got to get our goal scoring hat on. Oh, Andrew uh, Magic Fairy Dust tripped him. Checked by 18 there. Yeah. Waxer's got it and now it's in our zone. Gil passing it up to Odie. Odie gets it up to Brando. Brando fight for it, but the Waxers get it. Oh, but Riley keeps it. Riley hits Brandon. Brandon goes, Brandon shoots and he's oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Please. Here we go. 5 
Final four to go. Three to two. Great pass by Riley Brown there. Brando snipe. Brando screws up the score every two minutes and 32 seconds, but may not let one in. I think they're gonna end up pulling Cam sometime this game. You, there's no way we're gonna pull him in like two straight ties, is there? What? It might happen. If we're if we're three three, we're probably gonna pull him. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. We're pull, keep pulling our goalie in ties, Tom. Here goes Colin. Here it goes. We can, uh, every game we played with the goalie, we tied. Oh, here we go, Oh, what a save! That's a nice. Four minutes. Wow, pretty brilliant save by their goalie there, though, Tom. Come on, Blues! Tom, I thought that was in. I think it was in. Definitely, if there's anyone watching this, please go back and text Rob to tell us if it was in or was not, if you can see. Or if you got a whistle down there, that might be the time. But maybe you, you, you can pull them and then put it back out there too, right? Great back check by Paul in there. Paul, come in down! Go big man. Paul, come down one on two, we need one of your No! Oh, what is Cam is out! Cam is out! One, one more, one more! And Ryan's going out. Let's go, Blues. I put him back out. Wow. 
ball, folks. We got 135 to go. We've had a hell of a hockey game. This has actually been a very fun game to watch. We still got a chance. We're not giving up yet, are we, buddy? No, we're not giving up. We're going to score three goals shorthanded. Do you believe in miracles? Here we go. Now, that's a penalty, or I don't seem to have seen it. I don't blame them. None of the rest of these tournaments have pulled that much. So Tom, we thanked everybody, but I think there's one person we have to thank. And this person has been at the central point of this age group for the last seven years of hockey in Dundas, and that's Coach Peters. He's been unbelievable uh, developing the skills of our Blues, uh, turning them into fantastic young men. Listen. Everything I hear about these guys, and I've had a pleasure of coaching a lot of them too, is that they're fantastic kids. And that comes from the parents, it comes from them, but it also comes from the coaches who are helping influence their lives. And for many of these boys, Coach Peters is going to be one of, if not the most influential boys, or men, in these young men's careers. And so, uh, on behalf of all parents, including myself, I just wanna say thank you to Ryan for his unbelievable time and energy and dedication in uh, shaping our young men. I think we let him be. I think he's probably uh, haven't been in his seat before. I think he's incredibly proud of the boys for the year, but uh, disappointed in the moment. Um, we've got two men on the ice right now. That penalty should not have cleared. It was a four on four goal. But hey, you know what? It's five two. It doesn't matter. Sam just got off. Yeah. That's it. See it. All right, 18 seconds left. The last group we need to thank, no less important, but thank you to everybody who tuned in this year. Uh, thank you for letting Joe uh, spend shocking amounts of money on a hobby that he believes in. Uh, thank you from me as someone who likes to listen to their own voice. What's that? Uh, Thank you to the grandparents, to the aunts and uncles, to the cousins. Cousin Nora, I believe it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Uh, it's been an absolute blast. And uh, hope we get to do this in some shape or form next year. Go Blues, go. Go Blues, go. Tom? I think we should have drunk some more beer before this game. You know what, I agree. But Tommy, I'll, I'll also tell you this, buddy. If you told me six months ago I was going to be doing broadcasts with a 10-year-old, I would not have believed you. And I can only tell you, my friend, that this has been an absolute journey, and I appreciate doing it with you. Thank you so much. It's been a blast. I hope we get to do it again next year, my friend. Yeah. Go Blues Go. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy your Saturday night. We get to drink tonight because we don't have to get up at 7.30. We're finding wins and everything. Go Blues, go. Go Blues, go. Thanks, Joe.